Rex here, and today we're gonna be playing Subject 65. It is a brand new horror game, and as you guys can see here, this guy is absolutely jamming. So if you guys didn't want to play this game before, just the fact that these beats are bumping, I just want to go ahead and jump into it already, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Make sure, guys, if you want to see more of this content, you guys go ahead and hit that like button and let's go. Oh my gosh. There were these rumors there about were these this rumors. old. Oh, you're gonna do it, my about bad, dude. This old <laughs> I didn't mean to take the narrating big job. building out in the middle of nowhere. I heard about some kind of experiments going on. Experiments on patients. Typical. I have tried to contact and get a hold of a doctor at the place, but they are, of course, always too busy to talk. I have decided to go check the place out. Okay, so I guess we are going to some type of psych psychiatric hospital. WAC to move, right mouse to zoom, shift to barely run, E to interact, F for flashlight, which I don't have right now apparently, control or C to crouch, oh, I'm so used to it being on uh, alt, but anyway, space to jump, okay, so, what the heck was that, oh, well, I mean, at least there's people here, it's not like abandoned, abandoned, I mean, there's a person right here, it's a doctor or something, kind of, kind of looks like, um, like, Ellen DeGeneres with black hair. What the heck? Excuse me, but are you a lady? Oh, are you all right, lady? You should leave this place. I was here, but no more. She's probably a patient. I should find a doctor. All right. Uh, there's they, they got a bee problem or something. Did you guys hear all those bees? I'm going to go into the... I don't understand. Okay, I'm just going to go. I, I, I'm not talking anymore, bro. Wait, I can't go in that way? Maybe this way? Staff only. Probably not. Okay, well, isn't this just grand? I can't even get into this place. There's a... Uh... Oh, what is this? There are coins here. I don't think I need any for now. Of course, what? If you can get free coins, you might as well take them. Bro, I... Um, you know what? I'm not... Did a pig... Don't tell me this is another pig game, bro. Did a pig eat her? Wait, she left something behind. Make sure there's nothing in here. What is go- Oh, main door key. Okay. Uh, there is bees or something in that tree. Do I have, like, an inventory? No. Resume. Okay, never mind. How do I open- This must not be the main door, then. Which is really weird, because it looks like it would be the main door. But maybe this is the main door. Okay. Aha! There we go! We're in! What kind of snacks do they got? Uh, I don't, dope coke? I feel like that's not something that you'd want to put in an insane asylum, but you know, uh, oh, look at that. A lovely little bloody handprint. And I can't get it. This door seems fragile. I should find a tool to open it. Okay, um, that's easy enough. We can stumble across a tool out here, I'm sure, in the garden. Maybe like a, huh? What the heck was that? <laughs> I you know what's funny? I think these ambient noises are supposed to scare me, but instead, they're comical in some sense. All right, a some type of axe or maybe a hammer or something. Just don't feel. Oh, I I just realized there's a dead body here with a lot of blood. It wait, it's the woman from outside. Okay, oh, there's a key in here. Hold on, hold on. Wait a second. There's a key in one of the slots. Maybe I can find a coin somewhere. Who? Okay, so the vending machine guy is the one behind all of this. I know where the coins are. They're definitely in here. I've seen vending machine guys, like, restock, and I don't know. I feel like it'd be pretty obvious if they put a key right next to the pink Gatorade. All right. Okay, come on. Come on, baby. Give day the juice. Give day the juice. Where is it? I got a duck. Duck in there. Get it? Do I have the key? I must already have it. Yeah, I must already have it. I'm gonna try and open something. No? What? Did I not pick up the key? I have to go into this little flap? No, I have it. I have it. It's got to be to this other door over here. But wouldn't it have said you picked up the key? Why is that keep happening? Every time I walk right here, this thing goes crazy. Uh, maybe I didn't pick up the key. So, uh, yeah, my game kind of bugged out and the key never actually fell out. It just kind of stayed in the vending machine. So hopefully now we're good to go. Let's watch it now. Because last time it never actually came out. Aha. There we go. Now we actually can pick up the key. So we've picked up the hallway key. Plus I noticed that the little talk thing was always there. But now it's not. So now we're good to go. Oh. Uh, it's a foxy little cramp. 
Did this guy just run off? <laughs> I just heard his footsteps. I, I still don't have a flashlight. Is this door locked? Okay. Okay, can I get a flat? There we go, a key. I'll take the key. But can I also get a flashlight perhaps? After several weeks with the isolation of the special treatment, it does not seem to have any positive effects on subject 65. 65 has become way too aggressive and it is hard for our staff to keep, do keep doing the treatments. We already lost one of our good doctors after a treatment conducted inside the cell of subject 65. I would recommend that we terminate subject 65 and move on to subject 66 instead. Best regards, Dr. Alan Jones. All right, so sub subject 65 may possibly be the guy who was in the wheelchair just now. Um, I would... What? Was it because I pressed this? <laughs> that went whack? Do I have the key? <laughs> Jesus Christ! I'm gonna go back that way. Wow! That was actually a jump scare. That actually got me good. Oh, wait. I just, I like, this is my perception on games like this, is I just don't think that you can actually die. I think it's all jump scare based, so you have to really try hard not to die. Uh, I don't know. That, I could be wrong on that, but that's why I just kind of blindly run into places. And then, you know, it's quicker to get... What happened here? I like how we, like, I saw this from the window, dude, but we'll take the... What? Is it when I try and touch the flash? Can I not pick this up? Okay, thank you. Holy moly, this makes things so much easier. Well, there's actually two keys here, but I guess I guess I can't take that one. That was a good jump scare right there, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Subject 65, you got me good. You you got me good, bro. All right, B infestation, I'll call the exterminator. All right, Subject 65, where are you at? Also, my headphones are really loud. Mutation, Subject 65 has been mutating due to... There is people moving in the background. I think it's my guy's footsteps. I don't know why he'd be like walking in place and reading this at the same time, but Subsect 65 has been mutating due to the treatments and seemed to be evolving into a hybrid between a man and a beast. The subject's teeth getting longer and sharper. His skin seems to be decaying and he is getting a lot stronger. I know you wanted to keep him alive and keep the treatments going, but this is going way, getting way too dangerous now. If we don't eliminate Subject 65 immediately, I fear for all of us. Please take this as a warning, Dr. Lando, and let us do the right thing, regards Dr. Alan Jones. Um, I'm gonna go out on a limb here, guys, and say that Dr. Alan Jones is dead. Um, I don't think Subject 65 was very keen. Keen of him? Con of What's in there? Oh, wow, that guy is strong. That guy's got some muscles. Jesus, bro. You are strong. Um, hopefully he doesn't become 60. That looks like subject 65. I'm just waiting, bro. Just get it over with. Where's the jump scare? Uh, okay. We made it up the stairs without getting jump scared. Hello, subject 65. My God. A shot. Stop it. Stop breathing like that. Stop. 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 You're fine. You are fine. What? Know, am I watching Ghost Hunters? Like... <laughs> Is that supposed to be me that moved that? I'm a ghost too, apparently. There's going to be something that pops up there. Why else would there be a light? Hey! Subject 65! He's just listening to- Hey! He was just in there watching TV and listening to rock music. What? Okay. Can I turn this off in case it's copyright? You know what? Whatever. Okay. He was just performing a satanic ritual and just- He collects a lot of staplers. There's one here, one here, one over here. This guy's obsessed with staplers. Oh, thank God. We got the elevator key door. I can get out of this. Uh, they must have unleashed a woolly mammoth as well, it sounds like. Going to the elevator? No, easy. Subject 65 is kind of goofy. He, like, attacks, but he doesn't attack. I guarantee you guys, um, mark my words, when we get out of this elevator, he's going to be standing right there again. Why my flashlight? Why? Why on earth did it go out? It makes no... I can't turn it back on. Oh, wait. 
It is on. I just can't see. Somehow, when I went up the elevator, I got blinded. Oh, perfect. It sounds like the elevator is uh, not working anymore. Oh. Just... Hello, Subject 65. It is time to meet your maker. Oh, there's Dr. Allen. There's, uh, I don't know, some cigarettes, bottle of water, nothing else in here. So we're just going to continue forward. He's killing everybody but me. Now I almost... Get in the room! Get in the room! Eh? Is it behind this door? I really need to find a way to escape this place. Hey! Are you out here? No. Yes! I'm genius! Of course you go into the vent where the monster just came out of. That makes total I sense. I managed to escape this hospital through the ventilation systems. I don't know what happened to that monster I left behind, but I finally got the police involved, and the place has finally been shut down. I am glad I made it out alive, and it's all finally over. What? <laughs> what? Wait a second! What happened to Subject 65? The police came- let me guess, the police came and just shot him? No way, bro, there's no way he's stuck. Alright guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed Subject 65. It was a short horror game, but I did enjoy playing it. I would like to see what happens next. If this developer would like to come out with a part two, maybe, that would be amazing. But overall, a really good game. It had the jump scares that really got me jumping. It has the music that's really got me bumping. And if you guys would do me a favor, go ahead and hit that like button so we can get this YouTube channel thumping. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And uh, peace out!